Todd, can you describe the scene on the bench and the scene on the ice there in the final frantic two minutes? Just what that was like from your perspective? Uh, it was it was chaotic, uh, but what I liked to see out of the group was uh, the guys battled, and you know sometimes you gotta you're, it's gonna get scrambly like that, and guys were diving head first. Some guys didn't have sticks. Uh, and again, to me, that's what you, you know, I'd like to be controlled, <laughs> but uh, you can see that the guys uh, care and they were, they were, they were doing everything in their power to keep that puck out of the net. Todd, you've been preaching structure this season. How would you grade yourself on that criteria tonight? I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can grade it right now. Probably have to watch the game because we had good moments and not so good moments. And and the good moments were, uh, you know, up until we got a two nothing lead, and then once we got a lead, uh, uh, we started to get away from our game. And you know that's part of again learning to win. And we went through this a little bit last year. You have games where you, up first period you're up two nothing, three nothing, and. And you know what we have to learn is just continue to do the those same things that allowed us to have some success. Did you stop going? Did you take your foot off the pedal a little bit, or full marks to Calgary for making a, a big pushback? Well, and you got to give you got to give Calgary credit because they stuck with it. Uh, but I but I think if you know first ten minutes, and I think there, there's going to be some response from them. But we didn't we didn't continue to do the things that that we did in the first ten minutes to give us that two nothing lead. We had it in spurts, but it wasn't the consistency, you know, that we want to get to. We talked earlier this week about your third line not being a traditional checking line. Tonight they jumped in and added in goals and points across the board. Is that what you want to see out of them night after night? Well, I first off, I don't, I, I don't know if I would label them a checking line. I'm yeah, but. Uh, you know, for me, I, I, I think you guys are always going first line, second line, third line. There are nights I, I don't know who is our first line. I don't know who's our second line, who's our third line, uh, you know, fourth line. And tonight we got contributions from Mark Letestu's group and Matty Calvert and, and Jack Skilly. And I think that's what brought us success last year is we were getting contributions from, from a lot of different people on different nights. And tonight we got that. Skilly jumped up with those two this morning, and you gave them a look today. Uh, obviously, it worked. Did you think that that was your toughest trio to play against in terms of guys playing their first game together this season? Uh, Jack Skilly and Skilly Latestu and Calvert. And and you got to ask me that one more time. Just that when you put Skilly on that line this yeah. morning, and obviously it worked in this game. Did you think they were the toughest trio you had to play against because? Even in the last 10 minutes when Calgary made their push, they were still seeing a lot of ice time, even if it wasn't together. Uh, no, I, I, I trusted them. They, you know, they contributed in the offensive zone. I think they, they, they were reliable in their own zone. Mark was very good on faceoffs tonight. Uh, so there were lots of reasons why to, to continue to put them out on the ice.